here at Oscar. We've won 3 2 here at Villa Park. Last gas winner by Human Son after it looked all the while that we were going to draw this game, which would have been a really, really poor result. But what did you make of the game? Yeah, you know what? We weren't great for 90 minutes. Um, it's the same old Spurs. Defensively at the back, we've got real problems we need to sort out. But um, with Jose Mourinho, a bit of magic, I mean, we managed to do it. And it shows you've got to stay to the 90th minute because you never know with this Tottenham team. Um, I think Son generally was off the ball today. Wasn't good enough. Um, we clearly are desperate for a striker. And I think in January, we've missed out on that massively. Um, but I think the boys in general today, Bergwijn's hold up play. I think Ali actually managed to pay some really key passes in. And in general, we managed to do it in the end. And I think that's the Spurs spirit. Credit to the away fans who are great today. And, uh, scenes at the end there. Yeah, absolutely mental. And I think it's great for the players as well to stay back after 90 minutes to really congratulate the fans for staying that long and um, give them something to cheer for. Uh, Bergvine, as you said, had a really good game. Uh, after first impressive debut against Man City a couple of weeks ago, I thought he put in a real uh, won the penalty today for um, when we went two and up, and I thought he looked a threat all game. Do you think we have a real player there? I think it's great. I think Jose's clearly got something to sort out because he's got Son, uh, Lucas, and Bergvine, and when Kane comes back, he's got a real decision to make who to play. Um, but I like that. I liked. I like the uh, players fine for someone. Uh, playing for their place, uh, fine for their place yeah. on the team, uh, fine for someone to play for, and I think Bervine it was brilliant. So I mean, to have someone physical like that, I think um, Luke's been uh, under the cotch recently in terms of not being able to hold the ball up and everything. I think Bervine doing that has really given Jose to think about. Do you think we deserved all three points at the end of the day? I know it was a very, very obviously extremely close to dropping points. Got the last minute winner. We created a lot of chances. Pepe Reina made a number of uh, big, big saves for Villa. Um, but again, as you said before, defensive frailties made us vulnerable. Do you think we deserved it though at the end? I don't know. Look, it's the Premier League. Look, you keep playing and, and Son gambling on that defender is what he's been doing throughout his whole career. Um, I think if he continues that, then yeah, we obviously deserve the three points. I think obviously ending the game much earlier when you're 1-0 up, could have been 2-0 up. I mean, uh, sorry, when we uh, equalised and got 2-1 up. I mean, to hold on at half time was so key uh, and after half time. And I think obviously typical Spurs not being able to do that. But we ground and ground and ground. And I think it took the 94th minute. But credit to those boys for being able to hold in there. Who's your man of the match today? Oh, Steven Bergwijn, of course. Yeah, 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 great. Love him. Love him. Great player. Have we got a new hero at White Hart Lane, do you think? I hope so. I hope so. And against Chelsea and hopefully in midweek he turns up as well. Um, yeah, a lot of positive things to look forward to, hopefully. All right. And the race for the top four? Um, obviously, we go one point behind Chelsea now after the getting three points. Do you think it's well and truly on now? Look, if we continue playing like this, hopefully. But um, obviously, with Man City hopefully dropping out of the Champions League next season, it gives us an extra place. We can't become complacent because we know what Spurs are like when they're complacent. But please, God, hopefully we've got it in our bag. I would still say you need to get to top four because I think that appeal, that appeal is probably going to come through, I think. Uh, absolutely. And, we, and with um, <laughs> former teams like uh, Arsenal actually making it the whole time, for us to be able to step up and really make a shadow for them to stand in, <laughs> hopefully we'll do it. Hopefully. All right, cheers going on, Oscar. Nice one, Thanks. mate.